Last year, Alfa Romeo dealers sold 516 cars in the US, 143 fewer than in 2015 through May this year, 2,702 have found homes, thanks to the Giulia sedan coming online Alfa could sell way more, now that it has its very own SUV that would be the 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio, named after the harrowing, 48-corner mountain pass in the Italian Alps the Stelvio is critical to any kind of momentum Alfa hopes to build because, well, it's an SUV, all the cool kids are doing it, and why not? Mid-sized luxury utilities are the use market's fastest growing segment at the moment. Alpha boss Reed Bigland has said publicly he thinks the Stelvio is up to the job he says people are going to buy Alpha's latest because its driving dynamics will blow them away he has insisted that's what every Alpha must be about and that the Stelvio won't disappoint anybody Alpha's newest SUV, not its first, though, who can forget the matter, built from 51 to 54. Made its world debut at last fall's LA show it goes on sale in July, right on time, Alpha said, unlike the Julia. Wearing a $41,995 base sticker it rides on FCA's rear-drive Giorgio platform, also underneath the Giulia sedan. They have the same wheelbase, while the SUV is 2 inches longer overall and 8.9 inches taller the Stelvio is built alongside the sedan at FCA's plant in Casino, Italy two engines are on tap, a 2.0 liter direct injected turbo 4, 280 horsepower per 306 pounds FT, in base, Sport and 3T models, with a mighty 2.9 liter twin turbo V6, 505 horsepower per 443 pounds FT, Coming early next year under the Quadrifoglio's hood let's not forget this engine's bloodline, it's the twin-turbo V8 in Ferrari's GTC4 Lusso T, 488 in California T, minus two cylinders. Alpha says it's good for a 3.9 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time and also has cylinder deactivation regardless of engine choice. Weight savings is key. The Stelvio's front and rear subframes, suspension pieces, control arms front, multi-link rear, fenders and doors are all aluminum while the rear cross member contains composite plastics handling the power is an all-wheel drive system able to transfer up to 60% of torque frontward if needed. Otherwise it's 100% rear-wheel biased it works with what Alpha calls the chassis domain controller, CDC, and DNA drive mode system. Like in the Julia, the drive mode system has dynamic, natural and advanced efficiency modes, adjusting accordingly the turbo boost pressure throttle response and, on the T and Quadrifoglio, suspension settings, 